Hey guys, before we get started, just a quick shout out to the people who make the Piff Pod possible. That's right, I'm talking about Piff Cult members, Ryan Goddard, Tracy McNeil, Andrea Anderson, Rebecca Gardner, Christy Salinas, Russell Matkin, and Jonathan. Welcome to the Piff Pod with me, Piff Tomatic Dragon, and Matthew Donnelly. What are we going to talk about today, Matt? Oh, I got a lot. I got a big agenda. All right. I got a lot on the slate. A lot coming I mean, up. I know your time is valuable, but I really got to gotta get cracking on some stuff. Let's do it. Uh, when we last left off, you were level two uh, on your fishing game, virtual reality. Oh, I was watching the fireworks in. Um, yeah, you're watching the fireworks in your Oculus Rift. Yes. Where what level are you at now? Uh, I haven't played it since. <laughs> yeah. I got a lot to do, you know. I yeah, well, that's where I was curious where this was going to go because there's a time where, where Zelda Breath of the Wild did affect you professionally. What was there? <laughs> it may, maybe made me better. <laughs> As a human <laughs> slash dragon. So I heard about you fishing on Oculus. Rift. I was like, I don't know. This could go a variety of ways. Well, there's a new Legend of Zelda coming out in five days. Oh. It's an old one, but it's a remaster of an old one, but I haven't played the old one yet. The one that came out before Breath of the Wild? It's difficult to know where it is than the canon. Got it. Because the canon's very confusing. Okay. I believe it's after Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Uh, but it's called Skyward Sword. And it's an old... It, they released it for the Wii U, I guess, mm-hmm. which I didn't have, so I never played it. Oh, okay. Um, and uh, I'm very excited to be playing it in a few days' time. And this is not Oculus. This is not, you will not be walking around no. as a, as a little tiny thing. Unfortunately, it's, uh, it's um, on the, the old Nintendo Switch. Got it. Yeah, the regular. The, the old regular, Switch. The regular Switch. The regular old yeah. Switch. Now I don't know though. I mean, maybe I won't even finish that one. Who knows? Dun, I did dun, dun, some. Dun. Uh, I did some scouting for you. Yeah. For uh, for your for your show at the Count Basie Theater. Oh yes. Yeah. Turns out a friend of mine opened a sandwich shop block away from right. your thing. So I, I think I'm, I think I got lunch taken care of for you. Yes. And here's the other thing. I think I really might do this. But my friend Jamie runs a bar like literally like three doors down. Yeah. From the thing. But I think there's a private area downstairs. Yeah. And you and Jade always have a frustrating time figuring out where you can eat after a show. Yeah. And I think I might reach out to him to be like, let's let's do a little something over there. That would be good. Um, but, I mean, that was when I was eating as well. Right. Are you back to not eating? I try and eat once a day now. Yeah, yeah. It's the only way to stay a svelte dragon. It is. Otherwise, I just eat like... 4,000 calories three times a day. Right. Yeah, yeah. Because America, everything's delicious. It is the problem. And then there's a voice in your head that says, like, I shouldn't waste a meal. Yeah. You know, if you're going to do it, enjoy yourself. Yeah, exactly. I shouldn't waste anything that looks delicious. I have the same difficult problem where I, I can do that, but then, like, the only time my wife and I can actually go out and talk and prioritize each other is over a meal, right? Oh, yeah. Well, business meals are the worst. Yeah. I mean, Penn cracked it. Penn's approach was just to uh, drink, drink coffee or something. Yeah, never, never, never eat. Yeah, and we, never we, show weakness in front of the business. We have someone who who works on Fool Us that we both know, and um, he will order like everyone else orders, and I'll kind of cut stuff up and push things around his plate, and then never really eat. And then the waitress is like, "Are you done?" And he's like, "Yeah." When everyone else gets their plate collected, he gets his plate collected. Oh, so he just doesn't eat. He never eats. And is that a, a choice? It's like yeah, it's like a magic trick. Like no one notices he doesn't eat, and he never eats. Right. But he never he doesn't make but he doesn't like to make any production out of like hey I'm not eating or I'm on a particular diet. He just pokes things around his plate until the waitress says, "Are you done with that?" Oh my god! I know. I mean, it's wasteful. That's why I didn't name that. I didn't name names because it's wasteful of food. Right, 
But I have a nephew I, I caught up with this. Uh, I, went away to, I went away to New Jersey. Have you heard of it? I have heard of it. But no. where's the old Jersey? Yeah. Is, it, is the old Jersey the island? Because there is York, right? There's, there's, a, there's a, right, there is a York. There is a York. There is a know, Jersey. There is a Jersey. But it's an, a small island. Off, off of England. I don't know my state's home state's history that well, but it I'm must be. It, it must be from that. It must be. Let's find out. He must have been a fan. So you went to New Jersey. I went to New Jersey, and um, I have a nephew who is a very, very picky eater. Like doesn't really eat anything. Yeah. So like he'll eat pasta, but no sauce. Not red oh, sauce. Man. No sauce. Oh. And he'll eat pizza, no sauce. Just bread. Just bread and bread. cheese. Bread and cooked cheese. But it has to be regular pizza cheese. If you do like a white pizza, you don't like garlic. Oh, my. Like, really. Yeah, I and think... so I, I was like, listen, if you're going to be, he was, he's going to school for sports marketing. Right. I was like, listen, if you don't want to call attention, you got to master this magic trick that I know this guy does. <laughs> <laughs> the only way you can make you it gotta through You got to get that dinner. pizza and cut it up, push it around the table. <laughs> push it around. Push it around. So yeah. yeah, so the autumn tour. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm. Uh, haven't thought about it. I know you've been working on other things. Yeah. Well, we're thinking we might take the big show out. Is what we're thinking. The one that you're actually doing right now. Yeah, we might take that out on tour. Um, that I mean, obviously, makes a lot of sense. It's the one you're working very hard on, and the yeah. one you're the most recent, most proud of. It's got the most new stuff in it, right? It's got the most new stuff in by a long way. And. Uh, downside of taking the show out we have to take out a big show <laughs> i mean it's, somebody's gonna have to make 25 pounds of jello a night in in a travel lodge oh yeah yeah right that doesn't travel no wait no it does once you get into the rhythm of it how many people are in the rhythm of it now um let's just no surprise here you don't make the jello i don't make the jello no i don't think i could make the jello right so I have that, instructions on how to make the jello. So you're out. I'm out. You're out. It's a, it's two to three people know how to are the guardians of the jello. Okay, that's a, that's a good amount of pe- three is a good amount of people yeah. to know how to do something. Yeah, two people know it, and one person created the secret. Okay, but that person's not going on the road. No, that person's too good for the road. <laughs> yeah. So now we're down to two of those two people who can travel. One of them. Okay. Which is the right amount. <laughs> Thank God. That's enough. The wrong answer is none of them. Right. One is good. And currently you have a gigantic $25,000 bush in your show. That's not going to travel. That won't travel. Mm-mm. So that, won't, that, that can't be it. So does Jello become your finale? Um, no. The fortune cookie is our finale. Oh, you still got the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, just, yeah. you were doing that without the bush for a while anyway. Right, exactly. So there you go. So I think it'd be fine. Um, so that's good. I uh, gave up caffeine for a week. Uh, starting when? Last week. Okay, so you made it so far this week. Well, no, I keep having... I got I got, I got roofied today. <laughs> Ca- I got caffeine. I, Jade bought me a strawberry Akai yeah. refresher. Yeah. And I drank it all. I just like chugged the whole thing. Yeah. And I was like, God, I feel awake. And then I was like, Oh, now I feel twitchy. And I just looked it up, and it has uh, yeah, the same caffeine in as a regular coffee. Yep. So <laughs> days with that incident zero. Yes. So, uh, what brought on this caffeine restriction? Well, I was just drinking like, um, uh, have you heard of Bang? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I was like starting to drink. I was drinking bangs. Okay. And then I was because the, coffee wasn't enough. Right. And I was in the bath, and I was like blacking out. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> no, I mean blacking out. I guess the uh, the opposite of what the manufacturers of bang want from their product consumers. In my heart was just like trying to like jump out of it. It definitely wasn't doing wasn't doing um, regular beating. It was definitely choosing its moments. So how, how many, you said how many days now? Because I see I, so you haven't done, have you gone through withdrawal is what I'm asking. Well, I keep going through it because I keep accidentally having, you keep coffee, accidentally having it. caffeine. Yeah. Do you do decaf, which is like a quarter caffeinated or whatever? This is, this is the, this is the bullshit of decaf. It's still caffeine. It's still caffeine. 
Yeah. Right? And you want none. None. So it's, this isn't about your heart. This is this is something you're attacking something personal. Yes. Because a quarter of a caffeine is decaf is not going to make you black out in the bath. No, no, but it's gonna it's gonna still like continue. scratch an itch. Right. Maybe. Who knows? Yeah. But uh, the amount of caffeine I had today is definitely unhelpful. <laughs> so this is perky you that we're getting right now. We have caffeinated piff. This is uh, twitchy piff. Okay. <laughs> Coming soon to Cartoon Network. Twitchy Coming soon piff. to Twitch. <laughs> Remember when we did Twitch? Oh, God. Oh, yeah. i got to bring all that back. What's happening with the, the Patreon? Uh, well, uh, I'm going to have a meeting is what's going to happen. A meeting? Well, I had to get through Fool Us and this vacation. Oh, yeah, right. So I'm just making sure that the podcasts have been delivered and that we're posting stuff. That's been good. We've had we've had uh, behind-the-scenes podcasts. And yeah. Front-of-the-scenes podcasts. I think we're going... We, we're right now we're generating a, 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 a nice amount of content for our, for our, right. for our Patreon. Are we, gonna, are we stepping it up soon? I'd like to step it up. I want to do the live stream... Not the live streams, the, um, the PIF TV again. Yeah. But that's hard to do. That is hard to do. But you we're like do it. it's it's a, it's basically like you you like it more than any anyone, right? <laughs> like for the amount of like people like it but don't think about the effort you put into it is what I'm saying. When we did Piff TV yeah. for 2 months, yeah. people understood the amount of effort <laughs> we were putting into it. And that's what I really was liked. like, what are you doing? Right. That's what that's what I really enjoyed doing that. <laughs> but like in terms of like like the podcast helps you connect with the your audience not as much effort as piff tv no i mean this is like one percent effort this right. is the, the amount of caffeine and a decaf coffee exactly this is this is the decaf Piff tv is well, two bangs first of all i need I, it's, <laughs> it's two bangs and by the way a bang is 300 milligrams of caffeine oh now a red bull is 80 milligrams yeah and coffee is like 25 isn't it no coffee is more than a red bull oh it is oh coffee's really bad yeah oh, okay let me see because it's like a, cu- a cup of coffee. I'm thinking of a decaf. By maybe. the way, Old Jersey was the island of Jersey off, off of England. Okay. So some some enthusiasts of that island. Yeah. It's a very nice place. Found a, 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 cl- a clump, clump of land that looks like a There's cup. 95 milligrams in a cup of coffee. Okay. And how much is a cup? One fluid ounces. Oh, my God. No, no, not one fluid ounce. It's not a cup. What? Four ounces. Or six ounces. Eight Six, fluid ounces. Eight fluid ounces. Yeah. Okay. I read it too quickly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I mean, if we're having espresso, I understand the one fluid ounce. But now that's I've got to look it. up how many cups in a venti. Oh, a venti is 20 ounces. 20 ounces. Venti means 20. So, oh, does it? Yeah. So that's uh, two and a half cups of coffee. Yeah. So that's right. So that's like almost a bang. Almost a bang. That's like two hundred and forty milligrams of caffeine. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, uh, bang triggers are people for people who don't like coffee. Right, and now uh, caffeine in Red Bull. This is great. I think people are going to be really happy with these stats. Hundred and eleven. That's wrong. Hundred and eleven. Oh wait, is that the smallest size? No, hang on, that's the big size. The, the small size, 77 milligrams. Okay. So people are like, oh, my God, look at you chugging the Red Bull while well, they're standing there with their basically bang. Yeah. With their basic bang. That's what a coffee is. It's I a basic did, bang. in my head, to this moment. You judge people, right? I did. Yeah. I definitely, like, my ice cream social co-host, Paul Mattingly, yeah. hates coffee. Right. Throws back the bangs and the Red Bulls and everything. Yeah. But when he was doing Red Bulls, I judged him, like, just drink coffee. Or just learn to drink coffee. Yeah, but a Red Bull is like a healthy coffee. Combined with judgment of, like, what we're doing doesn't take that much energy. That That's thought true. Also this, like, I don't need this much energy to do what I'm doing right now. <laughs> if anything, it's getting in the way. <laughs> it's very distracting being yeah. this energized for something that requires sitting down and speaking. Now, does Jade... Uh, support the uh, Jade had a C4 last night. A what? A C4. Is that a type of energy? Two thirds of a bang. Okay. 200 milligrams of caffeine. <laughs> I judge anything related to bangs now. I think measuring bangs is appropriate. Yeah. 
One, it's a fun unit to say. Yeah, Zach had a bang the other day. Zach, who does our video stuff. And he was looking at a light and he could see it flickering. He was at 60 hertz or whatever the speed the light was. <laughs> now, as someone who runs this operation, if you notice your staff generally increasing their bang consumption, do you think about, am I overworking them? Or we, we got to do something about the schedule? Uh, yeah, I think, I think, um, I think that they need, if they're not drinking a bang, I'm questioning their attitude. <laughs> it's a sign that you're, you're in. Yeah, exactly. You're ready to pull a long haul. No, Zach, uh, we didn't realize how much caffeine was in a bang. It was Gabriel suggesting the bangs. Oh, oh, so it's just like a casual choice to switch Gabriel over. Gabriel was like, oh, yeah, you should try a bang. So we tried it, and then we were like, <laughs> you know, in the future. Ralphie May does the whole thing about Cuban coffee, like how it, you can see into the future with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we were in that place for sure. <laughs> and I said to Gabriel, I don't feel good. What was in that thing? Yeah. I had a I had a friend. Uh, he ran a website company, and we he also managed our comedy group. And we didn't do anything during the day, so all we did was basically go to his office and hang out with him, and harass him while he tried to accomplish his day job. And then what was his day job? A uh, website designer, right? And so he'd make a bunch of coffee, and we'd all drink coffees or whatever. And then slowly but surely, we stopped showing up as often, but he kept making a full pot of coffee every day. And then he kept just, while he was working, refilling his coffee cup yeah. and found himself absentmindedly drinking eight cups of coffee a day. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then he realized this and was like, I have to stop and try to stop cold turkey. Like, oh, was like no, no more coffee. <laughs> and it was, we were also roommates. It was also, it was the, it was one of the most brutal withdrawals I'd ever seen. <laughs> he was destroyed, destroyed. Uh, but this whole like casual uh, acclimating to bang from Gabriel is really it reminds me of that. That just the small choice happened around the office, yeah. And now all of a sudden, suddenly everyone's sipping bangs like there's no tomorrow. There's a, there's a, there's a problem. You guys have a problem. They're like, I mean, unless they like, want to sponsor, which case we're fine. Oh, if they want to sponsor this yeah. thing, absolutely, we're good. Yeah, let me just pause for a minute to take a sip of this delicious bang. <laughs> uh, how much caffeine is the recommended dose? I don't know. I don't know if you're supposed to have any caffeine. What? Like, I mean, I don't know if there's like a recommended, like the FDA says, have so much. I bet that there's a limit. I bet they tell you don't have more than blank a day. Six hundred milligrams is too much. Yeah. So two ventis or two bangs, you're in trouble. Two bangs is a problem. Yeah. I will tell you that my doctor told me to switch to decaf. And then my wife was like, I hate decaf. And so I listened to my wife instead of my doctor. Yeah, that's not good, is it? <laughs> I don't know. Seizures start around 1,200 milligrams. <laughs> that's four, so that's that four light bangs. Flickering, that light flickering might be, might be in that category. Yeah. 10,000 milligrams. Yeah, you're on to strokes at that point. That might have been, we almost probably did it to my buddy Brian, right? Yeah. Well, eight cups of coffee. How much is it? Eight cups. Eight cups. No, that's 800. It's 800, yeah. I mean, yeah. that's bad. That's bad. Yeah, that's that's not, not, a the, good day. not recommended. It's really like you can feel your teeth constantly. Yeah. 800, you're kind of just like, oh, I'm God. aware. Yeah, that's when you feel like you're, 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 you're operating from your nose. Now, is there a feeling? Because you don't, you don't drink. Right. You don't do drugs. Right. Do you feel like you this ha, this is a vice that you have that you kind of like? Anything's a vice because I latch onto anything that I can. Right. Donuts. Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Yeah. So do you feel like you, you're gonna? Do you feel like your brain finds them? Yes. They so call you, it the ism. Yeah. It's the alcoholism. Ism. Yeah. Do you feel like you're gonna find it's it no matter what? Yes. So like right now we're about I'm to like find. I'm like a truffle pig. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna find those truffles. <laughs> so you're gonna, so you know, something's wrong. So you're gonna eliminate caffeine, but that truffle pig's on the move right now. Yes. Okay. I I want to get it to exercise. <laughs> All right, because people do get addicted to exercise. Yes, that's yeah. been, that was my goal for the last year. All right. So this, when this gets posted, I mean, this is the public episode. Right. This also gets posted on Patreon. 
Right. So either on Twitter or Patreon. I would like suggestions. I would like you guys to write in with isms. Yeah. And w- maybe like either a good ism to grab or what you think Piff's next ism is going to be. I'm, I'm, I would like feedback from our listeners on this one. And we can we can, we can figure this out together. Perfect. Yeah. Um, so you want exercise to be... I know because it's... I think the same thing... I'm looking people, at Twitter now to see whether anyone's responding. Uh, this isn't... Uh, no one knows this conversation's happened yet. Well, you'd be surprised. <laughs> you, I would be very surprised. We definitely are. Okay, no, not no surprises. <laughs> Rachel does the Twitter. We should interview Rachel about this Twitter. Well, we did have her on, but we didn't talk to her too much about the Twitter. We were too busy gotcha journalizing. Over. Here's a here's another one. This is a tweet we did did 26 minutes ago. Yeah. One minute I'm fine, and then all too well comes on, and I'm crying in chilies. <laughs> There are definitely some tweets that I'm like, this is not Piff at all, but it's very funny. That's one of them. What's the, uh, if you could be a person, do you have that one handy? If you, uh, let me have a look. That was a good one. If you could be someone else, who would it be and why is it Jeff Goldblum? <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. Uh, now, do you want everyone to know that you don't do your Twitter anymore? Uh, I don't mind. I feel like it's the safest bet, right? Yeah. I don't want to, don't want to. Uh, be be living a lie. When you hired Rachel, did you know she was funny? Um, yes. No, she's she was always being good at that stuff. Okay, so that was understood. Yeah, that wasn't a truffle that presented itself. It was not. Yeah, it was, it was not a truffle there. Uh, we're going we're going on a on a pre tour soon. Where are you going? Um, Sagerstrom. Sagerstrom. Yeah, England. No, Sagerstrom is a venue in Orange County. And it's um, Sagerstrom Performing Arts Center. So it's near LA. It's like half an hour from LA. Okay. And we were playing a thank you show to the members outside. Then we got upgraded into the theater at 25% capacity. And I think we're going to get upgraded to full capacity soon. Oh, good. So lots of tickets. Lots of tickets to, uh, to for people to say thank you with. I'm not really sure who's thanking who. It I'm was confused a thank about you the gig. thank you agreement as well. It was a thank you gig, and now it's just a regular gig, I think. Okay. I think that's what happened. I think everybody was like, all right, we get it, but we should probably just do a regular show. I think that's exactly what was happened. So. You were going to thank them? They were going to thank you? The primary I think me agreement. being there was thanking somebody. Got it. And now it turns into... A favor. Not a favor. Well, we were always getting paid for it. Got it. I don't know what's happening with it. It's very confusing. <laughs> I just know I'm doing it. You're just going there. Yeah, you're gonna go there. You're gonna do a show. Who knows how anything else and will go, shake out? And 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 you bring in the big show. We're bringing the big show. And depending on how that goes, is depending on what oh, we're taking. Oh, this is a trial run it's of trial. everything. Yeah, yeah. Are you gonna try to make Jello on premises then? No, we'll make it and travel. Okay, got it. Yeah, we'll put it in a uh, in a cool thing. <laughs> you know, whatever you call those. The standard standard gigantic Jello traveling. Aren't cool there thing. one of those? Isn't there a model? That um, so like transferring a fancy cake. No, what do you call those things? It's named after a yeti. The yeti. <laughs> yeti cooler. Yeti coolers are usually uh, soft. The big ones are usually just bags. No, no, no. They got a, they got the yeti cooler hard ones. Okay. Guess how much they are? Let's see. Uh, Five hundred bucks. Four hundred and seventy nine dollars ninety nine cents. Oh, come on! Who nailed it for a hundred and five? That's pretty good. I, I feel pretty good about my guess. Yeah, that was pretty good. Thanks. Where's now, the one with wheels on? If someone wanted to apply to either be a Jello maker or a Jello transporter, we are hiring at the moment. You are. Yeah. We're not sure what we're hiring for. <laughs> you just know you generally need more help around you. Oh my god! Yeah. Yeah, we need a lot more help. So if you want to help in some way, then uh, isn't this a way to attract like the worst employee? Yeah. The more you really lower the bar on this, the more just someone who maybe won't help might be like, I can go there. I think that's the issue, isn't it? I mean, I think that's what's what's happened <laughs> uh, previously on Piff. <laughs> 17 by 18 by 31. That's more There like we it. go. That's a jello container. Is that tall enough? 
18 by how how tall is your jello? It's about two and a half feet, isn't it? I have to. I'm gonna measure it tonight. Okay. And see. But yeah, we we may have to get one of these bad boys. So you need like a a, a truck. Yeah, we're gonna bus. We're gonna bus bus and truck it all. Have you looked into that? Does Yeti oh. make vans? Yeti doesn't need do vans. Yeah, there's so much work. There's so much work to do. But you have at least a month to figure it out. Good evening. This is Piff the Magic Dragon. If you'd like to be involved in working for Piff the Magic Dragon, apply at piffthemagicdragon.com. Uh, we are looking for callers. If you think that you can <laughs> reduce very, the temperature of a beverage. If you have like a superpower where you go like... Yeah. Or you can just blow on it. Yeah. It's very cold. Oh, um, that'll be good. We need that. Uh, we need um, uh, dog wranglers. We got too many dogs. Yeah, three dogs now. God, that's a lot of dogs. Three dogs. Yeah, and the littlest one, he's got this new thing where he just like wakes up, walks towards my face, just licks my nose constantly <laughs> until I wake up. <laughs> he hates decaffeinated piff. Oh my god, he wants caffeinated piff. And then he goes to sleep for a bit, and then <clears throat> he just walks up and licks my nose again. <laughs> Just right on my nose, just like just licks it like a like a shitty shark. <laughs> just like what what's happening? I'm just gonna lick your nose. Uh, I have a cat who I think is very sweet, but I think is secretly a dick. Right. Because it just comes in battered all the time. Or drunk. No, like bleeding. Oh my god. Yeah, like goes out, and then comes back in and like lies on the kitchen floor and there's like blood on the floor. <laughs> oh my god. And this cat indoors is like one of the sweetest cats. I have two cats, and it's the most approachable, sweet, purry one. Crawls right up on your arms, and then I guess just goes out and gets in fights. Just fucking goes out and punches people. Don't give a wow. shit. It's always the secret, you know, the secret dicks, isn't it? Yeah. I think they're, oh, they're so nice, and then they go and have a few. <laughs> Turn into massive dicks. All right, so you got a person that has to be comfortable driving a truck, capable of a real large job. Jello. It's a real job. Now, what's the real job? We need somebody to manage our Patreon mm-hmm. to be like the anchor that uh, you and Rachel rotate around. Okay. Uh, we need somebody to do that for Piff TV. Mm-hmm. I want to. I want to make an animated TV series and a movie, and uh, and I have to go on tour. So right. we need people to help with that. Touring is a big thing. You need somebody for that. Yeah, but we've only got like eight dates, so. Yeah. I right. think we have somebody for that. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I've got to get to level three of fishing. This is big, big, yeah. So I need somebody for that. Tips. Yeah. Hot tips. All right. Yeah. Well, that's it. We've let, we're, it's good to leave the podcast on a call to action, I think. Let's do it. Bye, everybody. All right. A few more people to thank for making these episodes possible. I'm talking about all the people at PIFCO. People like Kelly Hebert, Anne, Nicole Kathleen Flynn, CRM, Michael Kaplan, Barry A. Spath, Damian Regalado, Darren Cunningham, Carmen Perry, Jesse Miller, Stephen Horry, Lori Elsroth, Tom Platt, Kyle Ramsden, Phil and Lisa Tolland, Zachary the Magician, Tor Ravengel, Mark Lansenmeyer, Samantha Ridgway, Kate White, Lee Popsicle, Brian Perry, Diane Beckman, Gian Heisler, Darren Shapiro, Kevin Dory, Control Byrne, Michelle Ann Blenderman, Chase Martin, Janelle Venegas, C- Carrie Travis, Mike Mahan, Kel Hebert, Derek Dozier, Fontina Zerps, Lori Miller, Luke Mellon, Stephen Volcano, Linda Weisenstein. Thank you so much. Hey!